Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this. This is the Tata Harrier facelift, facelift version 2 I think because multiple facelifts keep happening of this car. They keep updating it. Earlier this year I had reviewed a red dark edition which had more features and now they have also updated the front end and literally this is a lifted face but before we start let me show you this awesome car perfume from Involve Your Senses. This is the Involve One Musk. It's a musky manly fragrance. It's my personal favorite. Super easy to regulate. Yeah, you can regulate it like that. And once open, it does not leak at all. That's fantastic. It has got something known as dry fresh technology, which gives it consistent performance. And you can get yours with a 10% discount using coupon code FASBEAM. Click on the top right corner of the screen. Now coming to the Harrier, it definitely looks really nice. And a lot of changes have happened at the front. Firstly, the DRL is now a continuous one, which has the welcome feature which is quite nice and a lot of people are doing this. So all those Tata fanboys who have been complaining about Verna's design, why don't you call this a tube light as well? Straight away, let's open the engine bay. Things haven't changed here because, oh my goodness, it's so heavy. Yeah, there's insulation there. Same Cryotech 170 engine, only one engine is on offer. That's a diesel, quite noisy when you open it like this. But let me shut this and, oh my God, that went down quite fast. Lights have been changed here. So these are obviously LED. There's an air curtain here, which is very much functional too. And you get two parking sensors at the front. Now the grill is slightly smaller when compared to the Safari. That's the reason there's a gap here to put your hands and fingers of truth. There's a camera here. This is the panel for radar, for ADAS of course. And there are two radars at the rear. So three radars in total with this car. This is not body colored. So slightly different right there. And then obviously the bumper has been revised. From the side, not much has changed. It looks largely the same as before because the profile is the same as before. However, the wheels have changed. These are 18 inches. On the dark edition, you get 19 inch wheels. Tire size happens to be 235, 60, 18. I don't like the design of the alloy wheels. Although they are aero optimized wheels, I just don't like it. And there's a camera here. In fact, there's a camera there for the lane departure warning. It does not get lane keep assist yet, which will come later. That's the reason this car is level two ADAS capable. It's not level two yet. There's a request sensor here from the side profile. It looks more or less the same as before, but this yellow color kind of looks quirky on this car. I mean, I'm sure people will buy it. But coming to the rear, again, that connected tail light has been done, which definitely looks nice. Yeah, it connects like this. If you notice, dynamic swipe indicators, which is a cool feature to have. A lot of premium features coming to this car, including welcome thing. It says vocal for local. There's a line missing here, which is there in the Safari. And then we have three of them right there rear wiper washer and all that there's a camera here in fact it says harrier let's open the boot which means i press a button and it is a power tailgate right now open now why are you taking so much time meanwhile faisal khan's fingers of truth hunting for the exhaust which is placed somewhere down there now i can't see it no actually it was there only there you can see the suspension here it is there is a suspension the boot is decent size but there's some storage below kind of weird not really a storage so we get a subwoofer here parcel shelf of course hook and power tailgate has come to this car press a button and there shuts the boot the spare wheel is not an alloy in fact it's smaller size 16 inch when compared to the 18 inch wheel available in this car and two parking sensors at the rear there should be four but they have only given us two in fact this is also sort of aero efficiency oh wait the rear fog lights are not leds high mounted stop lamp shark fin antenna rear spoiler this area is different in the safari let's get inside at the rear door pockets are actually big enough this yellow treatment has been carried in the interior and now we have got a sun blind as well, which is nice. JBL written right there. 60-40 split so I can put the seat down like this in order to increase the boot carrying capacity. Comfort headdress which is nice but center passenger unfortunately does not get a head. He does get a shoulder because he gets a proper seat belt. Twin cup holders here in the center armrest. Isofix child seat mounts and there is decent amount of space here. In fact legroom and new room is good. Magazine holder here, under thigh support is not bad and headroom seems adequate enough. There's a light placement here on the top. Handle, hook, height adjustable, seat belts, airbag written here, it has got seven airbags. But look at the design of the dashboard, it has changed for sure. Some storage space here, USB-C, USB-A, so multiple charging options as well. AC vents have been placed right there and there is a hump, so the passenger will not really be very comfortable as such. But yes, the cabin has this nice treatment. This is black, of course. You get multiple options. Let me get out. 
and i have to admit that tata motors is slowly but surely improving the aesthetic appeal of this car it says harrier here on the left side in the safari it says safari on both the sides obviously lot of badging request sensor on this side as well the glove box is decent size in fact there is a tray on the top as well and says harrier on the carpet too yellow inserts on the seats that double stitching looks fantastic and you actually get an umbrella holder too again door pockets are big enough which makes me notice this which is to shut off the passenger airbag if the passenger is your enemy just shut his airbag <laughs> that's his problem dynamic swipe indicators are sequential indicators what do you think about the design of this car i think because of the design at the front which is kind of quirky people will definitely buy this car just looking at it 50 lakh cars have been sold by tata motors in 25 years they have been putting the sticker almost everywhere i think they have 50 lakh stickers and straight away i'm going to press one right here because it obviously has memory seats there the seat is moving says airbag here so yeah you can save up to 3 people settings this is six way adjustable electric adjust for the driver seat meanwhile the co-passenger has four way electric adjust and seat ventilation has been given as well door pockets are big enough here this is illuminated but not one touch up and down it's kind of unfortunate this is the control to adjust the outside rear view mirrors so yeah it's kind of weird leap position and this is the engine start button some instructions here and i'm straight away going to put this amazing car perfume from involve your senses right here it slots in perfectly two and a half cup holders got some storage space here usb a usb c 12 volt charging socket and this has the cooling function too i think this has started right now you can't really see it in bright daylight so yeah this could be a little bit brighter where is the dead pedal dead pedal is missing you want to see how the brake pedal comes off like that so yeah quality could be a lot better ambient lighting is there here of course now because the lights are on you can't see anything so i'm going to turn off the lights and now the screen becomes brighter here you get light on the top and it tells you about the passenger airbag there is no mirror or light here which is surprising on the sun visor but thankfully you get it for the co passenger because that was the only person who was allowed to see the face some different treatment has been done which actually looks nice you get a bigger screen so this screen is actually a 12.3 inch screen which is coming straight away from the nexon.ev but does not get the arcade.ev app however it gets android auto and apple carplay connectivity which by the way is wireless amazon alexa there's an aqi monitor along with a hair purifier so lot of features aqi is really very poor here and then if i come into this menu it's a little slow to respond at times jbl modes i think there are 13 jbl modes so that is kind of fantastic yeah they are kind of stuffing their car with a lot of features so there is a tweeter here so it has got 10 speakers four speakers actually one on each door then four tweeters a pillar and on the rear doors and then this car has obviously got a center speaker and a subwoofer that's how it has got 10 speakers this is auto dimming and inside here there is a lot of things to play around with first things first i'm going to press the 360 button right there so this is the 360 degree parking camera there is a 3d view as well and that is really very cool it obviously does not match the color of the car but it has 3d view multiple camera views so very nicely done tata motors camera quality seems to have improved right now so i will definitely appreciate that as well so all this you can do share location sound demo in fact we'll get to the sound demo audio quality is actually quite impressive yeah i really very much like it this is a 10.25 inch screen this has also changed because this is similar to the nexon the updated version and then you can browse through a lot of stuff if android auto or apple carplay is connected you can see the map there as well so yeah it's very loaded plenty of information i can browse through the tire pressure monitor i can get into the power and torque meters which has been given to the steering wheel has illumination but the consistency is very poor because in some cars you have to really press it in in this car you know it is so sensitive that it just gets pressed like that cruise control buttons these are controls for the audio system of course flat bottom treatment this steering wheel is similar to the one on the nexon however this has got four spokes and it is slightly bigger automatic headlights automatic wipers wipers work very well obviously plenty of spray on offer here yeah auto function has been given which is a norm these days this is very cool look at this so basically this is the rotary dial with this sort of a jewel effect this is for the terrain mode selector so normal wet and obviously rough so obviously it has got voice alerts it will tell me that as well this is the city mode or the eco mode and this is for the sport mode and this is for the downhill assist gear lever should have had all these numbers in sort of chroma silver so you identify it electric parking brake auto hold function and a wireless charging pad and a fast charger for the usb c and a usb a as well 
but my knee collides here with the center console it gets a knee airbag right now this is adjustable both for reach as well as rake yeah, a little bit of an effort this is a fingerprint magnet two physical controls for the temperature dual zone climate control air conditioning system this is for hvac and this is for the front and rear fogs this is for hazard light i turn it on guess what it is not blinking here so the hazard light is on but it is not blinking here so there is some issue right there this is to open the boot of the vehicle and this is to lock and unlock the vehicle and this is for the 60 degree parking camera in fact it has got gesture enabled boot which means you come behind and stand and it will automatically open it earlier there were a lot of buttons here now they have just one you have to press it very carefully otherwise the sunroof will open i just want to open this sun blind right now okay i pressed it very lightly and the sunroof is also opening i just wanted to open the sun blind not the sunroof so that's a bit of a problem i used to pray starter motors for giving multiple buttons but they're like there are too many buttons so they've removed the buttons i don't want to what are you doing i just want to close this okay so it's a bit finicky to operate oh, no 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 what oh no what are you doing <laughs> uh, very badly executed this was not a problem tata motors has managed to make it a problem now by doing all these things so you just have to press it lightly i'm pressing it okay wait wait where do i want it to go yeah this should not open oh, oh my goodness this is so badly done what is wrong with tata motors why do they spoil stuff which is already fixed i have no clue seats are very nice and comfortable obviously and this is what you would expect from Tata Motors to make a nice, big, comfortable seats. Steering also feels nice to hold because it's electric power steering. It is so easy to tour, like you can do it <laughs> without much effort, honestly. That's really fantastic. And uh, you've obviously got ambient light color. So I'm just going to get into the mood light bit right now. And then I can change the color here. So not many color options, purple and red. I don't know why, just purple and red. Let's get into reverse. There's the reverse parking camera. I can actually zoom it in like that. So yeah. Big screen, huh? big screen, but come on, we needed arcade.ev, but people who drive ice powered cars don't really need all these gimmicks in their cars because they can enjoy the sound of the diesel engine or the petrol engine or whatever. And obviously it's got a lot of ADAS functions. Let's go. All right, let's start driving. Notice the logo. It will illuminate right now. Come on car, turn on there. And there this welcome thing comes, Tata Motors, Ira. Obviously it's got connected car tech. Full swipe up, so many warnings, what the fluff? And air conditioning on full blast, let me turn off the air conditioning. Air conditioning is really ridiculous in this car. Okay, it's turned off. Yeah, the controls are like obnoxiously, foolishly stupid. Anyways, into first gear, straight away we get into sport drive mode. The lady has been told to keep her mouth shut, so she's not going to come and tell. Sport drive mode activated, electric parking brake down and off we go. The important thing here is that this car has ESP with around 17 functions, but you cannot disable ESP or traction control. At least I can't see any button. I've just put a map here. And obviously it's saying I'm in no man's land right now. So a bit of an off-road driving right now. It's going to be a bumpy ride for sure. And low speed ride isn't good. It's on the stiffer side, so you can feel a lot inside the cabin. But as you speed up, the ride becomes beautifully flat. The bigger issue here is that this car is not very well insulated. So you can hear a lot of the road, a lot of the tire, a lot of the wind and a lot of everything almost everywhere. So I don't know how it is born of pedigree because it seems to be born of a lot of sounds here and there. The biggest chain though is this electric power steering, which is super easy to twirl because of which there's much lesser effort needed to actually make a turn here or there. The older hydraulic steering was really very heavy, quite inconsistent. Not that this is very direct because it is also quite vague at certain speeds, but yes, it definitely feels better. It's going to be more efficient as well. And I believe the fuel efficiency will also improve. So around 10 to 12 kilometers per liter is what you can expect in the city. It has a 50 liter fuel tank and uh, you know what? Body roll is very well contained. So around the corners, yes, definitely it doesn't feel hairy at all and there's decent amount of grip. This is running on 18 inch tires. The dark edition gets 19 inch tires. So bigger wheels will affect the ride. Not really because the profile is just getting reduced by five. So that's not much of a big deal. I gave a left indicator there. It's telling me what's there on my left side, which is also quite cool. And let's just turn and straight away. I'm going to accelerate. First gear, I am hitting almost 5000 RPM because this is a manual, right? So I can keep the revs as high as I want. Performance is actually quite good. Feels fun to drive for sure because it's a manual. And the gearbox is decently slick shifting but has some rubbery feel here and there. The clutch is having some amount of uh, play. So it's not very uh, sharp, the clutch, but then you get used to it obviously with time. So you're not going to complain about it much. The horn is so sensitive now. It gets activated like this, pardon 
me doing this but whenever i use the horn i have to actually clean it and when i end up cleaning i end up honking a lot more so that makes me quite horny right now i mean honky right now whatever but the steering is actually so light and makes the car such a breeze to drive in spite of the weight and all you don't feel it at all now obviously this is powered by 2 liter diesel engine which is known as the cryotech 170 because 170 ps of power and 350 newton meters of torque same as before so nothing has changed on that front power delivery is smooth it's quite refined very linear low end there's a lag mid range is nice and punchy top end is not there only beyond 3 and 1/2 thousand rpm it's just waste of fuel trying to pull it all the way right there so you have got multiple drive modes there is city mode there's eco mode and there's sport mode it's self explanatory what these modes do we are going to come to halt braking performance is good yeah actually brakes are nice and strong uh, only thing is there's some nose dive as well and now it's time to launch revving the motor uh box down very quickly Ah, little bit of wheel spin there. First gear, I think 48 kilometers per hour. Zero to 100 kilometers per hour comes quite briskly, so doesn't really struggle. Only thing is the engine becomes super vocal in the higher end of the rev range, so it's not very refined when you pull it really hard and fast. And you do have to pull it hard and fast to make quick progress. Okay, downshift. Yeah, the lag kicks in now. You can't go into a higher gear at lower speed, so you have to be a little careful about that. Let me just change this mode, get into the navigation menu, and there it is. So that's also very cool. I really like the way this thing has been done. Yeah, obviously Tata Motors is getting new new stuff into the cars, which is fantastic. But while doing so, they are forgetting that quality is something which needs to be a habit. Certain things don't really align well, like some of the panels here. The paint has some iffy finishing here and there, and the horn is so sensitive in this car. In other Harriers which I tried, it wasn't that sensitive. So things are not consistent. Again, this is also not properly aligned. Something here and there, you have a hit, you have a miss. So that's something they really need to work on because. quality something which is extremely important for tata motors to get into because the engine obviously comes from the fca group same engine powers the compass as well as the hector as well as oh their automatic emergency braking tick tin yo so adas functions are obviously there new function is acc adaptive cruise control which also gets the overtake function what is that basically if you are maintaining a set distance say four car distance from the car ahead and then you give an indicator to make an overtake it will let you come close to that car and then make that overtake rather than applying brakes or reducing the speed so that feature has been added as well i think uh, tata motors really needs to focus a bit on qc as well as consistency of you know panels and all that considering this car cost upwards of rupees 20 lakh so this is going to cost upwards of 30 lakh rupees It's forgivable for the Tiago or the Tigor, and even for the Nexon to a certain extent. But for a car of this price, you definitely want that quality, which is missing in certain areas. Otherwise, yes, this is a fantastic car in the way it has so many features. Now, it's going to wow people over with the amount of features, which actually makes me want to actually turn on the 360 degree parking camera. There it is. I can see the number plate more than I can see the road probably. And around the corners, I'm quite impressed by how it doesn't feel hairy at all because. Land Rover derived platform, the D8 platform. This is known as the Omega Arc, and it is quite rigid, quite nice, and makes the car fun to drive for sure. Only thing is, all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive or four by four and all would be fantastic addition in this car. There is a Safari right ahead of me, and yeah, it's going to automatically break the Safari and this car as well. Oh, I noticed one thing that the Safari doesn't have a lion on the top. That one and the new one definitely has it. So. You know they are making small small tweaks here and there which is quite good because it really uplifts the whole thing of the car <laughs> without a doubt I don't even have to put any effort to honk the only thing is that if i use any of this then i have to clean it so here i think i'd use something so i'm just going to clean it you always have to keep a cloth with you that is so important in this car because things get dirty real fast that's kind of unfortunate now many of you would be like when are they getting this car with the petrol engine honestly a uh, petrol engine can be avoided because heavy car drinks fuel but then people in the ncr region are so scared of the ngt they are like nahi hum diesel nahi chalayenge humse nahi hoga obviously you also get the option of an automatic with this car which is a 6 speed torque converter automatic gearbox with paddle shifters and in terms of adas features it has got lane departure warning not lane keep assist because of which this is level 2 adas ready it is not level 2 yet and they are obviously still uh, tweaking the system testing it thankfully not on customers and it will come with a software update in this car which i am told apparently 
you know what it's giving me the seat belt warning it is also telling me right now that the handbrake is engaged so this cluster has an issue of itself because when i give an indicator it does not tell me the camera turns on so obviously i know i've given an indicator but it does not tell me anywhere here that the indicator is on so certain features are already not working on this car and this car is brand new so that is a slight issue with tata motors cars that qc is not really of prime importance and such things should not be an issue when you're paying for a car upwards of rupees 30 lakhs that's a lot of money so here into first gear and off we go full map you come on full map you oh some wheel spin well done faisal well done i love this view i think it's super duper cool super duper awesome and then it has got terrain modes there's her normal mode there's a rough mode and there is obviously the wet mode which makes tweaks to the esp system to ensure that when you are going off road then it able to ensure that all that power is not put down and you don't keep spinning your wheels and dig yourself in nothing can replace a proper four wheel drive system i don't know why tata motors is refraining from getting it considering the competition which is the xuv 700 and the scorpio and already offer four wheel drive as an option i'm not saying they make a body on frame vehicle just give us an option of four wheel drive even the range rover is a monocoque with all wheel drive standard there is no two wheel drive version of the range rover i'm talking about the flagship range rover the real deal okay why did the camera turn off there it is i have never found it so effortless to honk uh, anyways we are going to take a quick u turn so i'm going to show you the turning radius of this car which with this new eps is so damn easy look at the ease of it and the gear lever gets a bit stuck here and there that's the only oh there i am getting in front i should be going elsewhere but i am going right okay now 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 i figured this out there it's giving me this warning because reverse cross traffic alert is also there in this car so yeah that's kind of crazy which brings me to the price of this vehicle i think it's going to start at around 18 19 lakhs go all the way to 31 lakhs almost for the dark edition and obviously tata motors keeps launching newer editions of its cars kaziranga edition dark edition sanjay gandhi national park edition and what not which actually attracts people because they're like oh wow new different color scheme i really like it but as i see it certain cost cutting was it needed to be done like parking sensors of two at the front and two at the rear each they could have had four there has to be a freaking mirror here which is missing and the power windows should be one touch up and down which unfortunately they are not thankfully they are illuminated though very old school type ones which you have seen in the indy cars and the vistas and the bolts and the zs and all those cars i'm sure most of you don't even know what are those cars but they do exist so guys this is my vlog of the tata harrier facelift it was launched in 2018 got a facelift in 2020 and then started selling because it got a big fat sunroof and then with the red dark they gave it adas and then they keep making changes that you can't even keep a track of it but with this update definitely it's a very common comprehensive one i love the fact there is a good screen now because the screen kind of was bad in this car okay this is the button to get out of it yeah now we are out and make sure you check out this awesome car perfume okay i am just removing it yeah from involve your senses this is the involve one musk you can get yours with a 10% discount using coupon code fastbeam click somewhere on the top right corner of the screen okay the smell is coming inside the car oh that's so nice i am so sorry i have to clean this right now how do i justify to people who are looking behind and saying what is this guy up to why is he honking dude i need to clean this panel it's getting dirty i'm very uh, cleanliness conscious bye bye